Hello everybody. Welcome back. I had a tragedy. Well, I really had two tragedies. A nice painting, which turned out good. That happened last night. But it cracked. Now, I'm not sure that's, that's sound too. Uh, this was in previous videos. But I think because I had it sitting on the chair and then I put some old dot matrix printers down that it might have uh, stabbed it. But then there was also a lot of texture. So it's ruined. But not all's bad about that because I came out of the Dollar Tree store and I found this bag. This bag, tote, happens to be made of canvas. So I'm going to strip this canvas off and then I'm going to redo that canvas, which I'm not going to do the frame. I'm going to take these staples out and then I'm going to stretch it and I'm going to put this canvas on there. I'll have a red canvas, but, you know, paint always covers up whatever the color of the canvas. But see, it, it ripped right through. And I was pretty heartbroken about it. But I did a painting last night. With, what I did was, my project I'm do, doing now, I had to paint the background black and I splattered paint. But it, it was a good painting. It was a pretty painting. Browns and black in uh, sand color oh well it bit the dust another project okay the reason for this video is I did this painting and I got it on video the only problem was from the camera corrupted the whole video because it's got you know a way to uh, trim and do all kinds of things and I just messed it all up so you don't get to see me making this one so I'm going to try to do it again now for you <clears throat> here's the colors I used and my mixture of what my medium is and a smidge means until it gets to the texture of honey uh, I add the mixture 75 percent to 25 percent paint and it works great okay what I've already done is I laid down my tape this is scotch blue and it's 209E 2093EL and it holds to acrylic really good and I've already put that down because that takes a while and what you do is once you get it down get a spoon and make sure the edges are completely down and if you do put the tape down and you wait then you have to go back and redo this because the tape and it's only the inside that you have to worry about because you don't want paint seeping under even though you can take a brush and you can fix it or when you put the black on from here to here after the painting you make the painting you're going to redo that because you don't want a texture difference between that and and the black okay this is going to be a reverse dip painting I've seen a couple people do it they haven't really come up with anything really nice but as you saw in the painting <laughs> My lord, it was nice. 
Okay, you cut a piece of wax paper, you put it down, tr try to center it, and then you place the uh, paper, I mean the tape, on both sides. And then you know that the, the paper is going to fit exact. Okay, here we go. I'm not putting any color down because of uh, I'm going to be putting paint down kind of a whole lot and then I'm coming back to uh, do the black and you, you don't need to see me applying black paint to the uh, sides so we'll just do this as quick as possible okay you take your colors and I've, I've shook them prior and I'm using light lake blue this is a I don't even know what that is I think I made that and this is deco art and it's medium here's this is a pearl blue from a Darcy paints that I got and then a standard black and white I'm going to take all the lids off. Because I don't want to play with it too much. Once you use gloves, they start stretching on you when you reuse them. Okay, let's see. Let's put some of this down. This will mix with the adjoining colors that are touching it. So you end up kind of with a, a, a nice, nice um, metallic, pearly type color. Now because you're doing it this straight on the canvas, you're going to have plenty of paint. Don't worry about it. Just don't overload it a whole lot. Because we're not going to move this painting very much. Now I've seen people try this. And wax paper came to mind. And I thought I did it with the red before I even saw other people trying to do it. There's some black. This, I'm hoping, is going to look like that previous one, which I consider it blue fire, like what you get out of your gas burner on your stove. Uh, let me see. i got to get rid of that solid white. I'm going to put a little more. just in some spots that I think it needs it. I know you're going, what is that crazy woman doing? Okay, now I'm going to move my paints out of the way because you definitely need space for this situation. I'm using an 8 by 20 canvas. You could do 8 by 10 any size you want. But it turned out excellent for me the first couple of times I tried it. You get your paint down and you just adjust it because once you lay the wax paper, you're going to have time to play with it. And I'm going to show you what I mean by play. My wax paper fits exact, so I've got to pull it over a little. Put it a little over there. I need a little more there. Okay. Now, from the middle, pull out. And when you see that it's starting to get to that tape, then uh, that's all you need. 
but you can stretch it out and it will run over the edge and you can take care of your edges that way see how it's starting to blur up you're gonna you're gonna let it sit once you do this oh about an hour and then pull your tape off don't take it off immediately because what will happen is this paint will run and you don't want it running past your artwork yes it can get messy so and you can pull the paint over if it's not coming over to the edge of that paper you can lift the paper up and you can add color if you want and then put the page back down page I'm an idiot I can't think straight Now, you can't do too much working with this wax paper because it'll start tearing on you. But you try to get it to the uh, from the middle to the sides. The secret of the flames is the way you pull the paper off. You gotta just make sure that your paint is all the way to the edge. And because you've already put your base color down, pull the paint away from the middle. I've got two little cups underneath three three ounce cups stacked. And that's taking care of no puddles in the middle. But it doesn't hurt to move it out. You've got a pretty good amount of time. Just be gentle with this wax paper. Okay. I hope I'm explaining this good. My paints all had dimethicone in it every one of them except black and white and I'm not going to contaminate my bottles now what I'm doing you don't have to do I'm just making sure that there's not a lot of paint on this edge so that when it dries it's not going to be a problem pulling that tape off because there's not much paint under there. Okay. Now, if you want it to go fire to go one way, then you got to pull the paper from the opposite. And what I do is I'm going to pull it this away. See, it's wanting to stick already. My house is so hot. I'm going to pull it this direction. I think the paper's in better shape. Now, try to do this as slow as you can. I'm doing it fast because you don't want to sit here forever. Now, I've got spots that are vacant that I was not aware of. Now, this wax paper, you can keep it as a skin. You just got to find some place to put it. I'll be right back. I've got my count my counter uh, 
kind of full here. I thought my camera would not do this big of a painting, but it does. And you could just touch it up where you see the camera's coming through. You see a big spot? Just run through it with your finger and it'll fix it because we're going to tilt it. I should have had more paint on it, but See, it's going to start coming down like that. You can take it and put it in other areas. Because there's silicone in it. And because of the way it's running, that's what's make, going to make it look like fire. See, from this direction, it's going to look like fire. And we have not hit it with the torch. I've got a little spoon. I can't see my other one. And I'm getting a little bit of this paint as it's coming down. And I'm going to pour it here where it needs it. You can always help it along. Nothing wrong with that. That's just a covering as a spot. Now, here's an area that I'm not really crazy about. Now I'm going to pick up a little bit of this paint and put it here. This is a very new technique. I've not seen anyone doing it with wax paper or this particular style. Like I said, you can fix, fix this by just slightly moving your finger up in the direction that you want it to be in. And if you want to move it on around, you can do that too. Or you can take a stick. <clears throat> I happen to love chopsticks. And I round them off with an with a, a emery board on both ends. You can run the paint right into a blank spot. Now, if I'd have used more paint, I wouldn't have had a black, blank spots. But since you got the black background, uh, if you miss some, uh, oh well, that happens. 
But what you're trying to do is uh, get the idea of a uh, fire. And in blue fire, which if you turn the gas stove on, you'll see there's very a bunch of varied colors of blue. And if your painting stays wet long enough, you can sit here and put all kinds of little details into it. I'm going to pick up some paint and I got an area to fix right here. I'm going into a bunch of different colors. And like I said, you wouldn't be having to do this if I had moved my paint right. But I'm doing it because I don't want that much black showing through. And you can break out these long streams of paint. Use them to your advantage. And as long as the paint's wet, You can manipulate it around any way you feel. If my if I'd had more paint when it was pulled up, I would have had more of this effect. That's why I'm playing with it right now. And that metallic blue looks really nice this way. Now, with enough paint, the it would it will close up any uh, other things you're trying to do because you've you got that base coat of black in there so nobody will ever know nothing and it's still an awesome painting okay well thank you for joining me I'm going to uh, put the painting on pause and uh, I'm going to come back when I'm ready to pull the uh, the, pa uh, the tape off. Okay? See you in a bit. Okay, it's been about 45 minutes to an hour. I'm going to take the tape off. paint is pretty stable. Oh, I wanted to show you something. This was from that first picture I showed you. That's the skin. And the wax paper is so thin, you can punch right through it because you can't get the skin off the wax paper. But with wax paper, you can pile skins on top of each other. Look at these cells. Aren't they awesome? Look at that. The other one is just as nice. Okay. Now, if any paint seeped under, when you go to put the black layer on, you can fix that edge like that one. The moisture just caused it to move. There's another little spot. You're going to see it, but you can fix that real easy. You take your brush and you push that away so you don't have a mound of paint there. 
And then you just come back when you go to do your background. See, there's another one. Now, I, there's one. But fixing it is no problem. Oh, I really love that area. I don't know. It's just the setup of it. See, there's another area. Now that, you know, green frog tape, that may click, cling better to acrylic. I don't know. I haven't tried it because I haven't got any. There's another area. But see, this can all be repaired. And there's nothing saying that this paint can't dry before you put your uh, black in, layer of black here because you can do it it can dry and then you fix it but make sure that there's no lumps of paint because that's going to deter from the way it looks you're going to have texture in that area and what I mean by using your brush I uh, put on my hospital gown just in case something that tried to flip at me which is pretty good. I, I, I get that all the time. Now, I don't have a brush handy. But all you have to do is just make sure that the paint... You might even be able to use a stick to get rid of the extra paint. Yeah, because you don't want no texture, you want a crisp line. And as long as you, you've got the ability to move it, now is the time to do it. Just move it so that there is not going to be any problem or anybody be able to see where that edge is because you want a nice crispy edge. I gotta find out where the tape is. See, you will not be able to move it around. That's why you wait. I would not move this tape really fast. I would take it slow. This side looks pretty clean. Aha! There's an area. And that was practically all in one black. Uh, I'm probably talking to myself and you guys have the volume turned off because I think I'm boring but I just enjoy this so much and I enjoy all you out there that have subscribed and watched my videos you're the tops you people are really awesome This side's coming out a little cleaner than the other side did. There's only one or two little areas that I have to level out. That was one. There's two. Okay. Now, other than these areas here, I'm going to be able to uh, pick that up with a paintbrush with no problem. But I want you to see the outcome of this particular painting. And if you look close, this direction, 
you can see the flames. You can also see the flames this direction. Really nice flowing. Okay, well thank you for joining me. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think.